गाइज वॉट्स आप एन पी एस थ्री हियर एंड वेलकम बैक एन अदर एक्साइटेड एलम एन थ्री टूटोरियल ओ सॉरी दिस इज नॉट एन एलम एन थ्री डी टूटोरियल दिस इज अ ब्लेंडर थ्री डी टूटोरियल आई सेड ब्लेंडर थ्री डी जस्ट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू सेड ब्लेंडर थ्री डी बट यू नो आई होप यू विल नॉट हर्ट सो एनी वेज लेट मी गेट स्टार्टेड एंड लेट मी शो यू द फाइनल प्रिव्यू सो दिस इज द फाइनल रिजल्ट विच took me around 13 hours to render with 1080 by 1080 with a cycles 32 samples with optics x denoiser so 30 hours rendering for 7 uh, second it's around 168 frames it's a huge but due to volumes it's took me around here so anyways the result is pleasing for me so i'm not disappointed and let me show you one more cool things this is the first try and this one is my favorite it's pretty cool but because the beginning is here and i just tried and i failed and i have few more clips but i don't want to show you all these things and this is the end result after few days i achieved it and let me show you all the things where you will start where you will end and all the process so this going to be a detailed tutorial and you will definitely learn it from here and i hope you will make it a better version of your scene and tag me on instagram if you use instagram because i feel very happy to see your renders So tag me hashtag NPS3D. Uh, let me tell you a uh, first thing. This is inspired by the guy called Vakades. Sorry, bro, if I pronounce it your name wrong, but this is a great artist. He make damn visuals and they are pretty good and they are very inspiring and pleasing for me. And this is great man. So here he, here is his art. it's pretty good you need this model which is completely free and you can download it from sketchfab i will put a link in my video description and this is from lucas graphics and thanks buddy for making it free so that we can use it and the second one is from vfx assets called vdb clouds this is a single cloud so you need this model this volume i will put a link for everything in my video description and the last thing you need is after effect script so that you can import after effect data inside blender and blender data inside after effect because in the end if i will show you i just rendered this thing and these particles are made using this particle are made using trapped form and this is the camera from blender so in this tutorial you will get all these things and this going to be a huge things guys because in your vfx workflow if you want to connect after effect and blender seamlessly this going to be help you and there are many things which let's get started the tutorial so here i open the blender 2.90 so let me open it so first i will go to the file import fbx and i will import that metro and i will import it so first i will try to build the scene and i will try to add the camera just delete these things i don't want this rods this poles and if in your case you want you can just you know you don't delete it all right so we done it let's press 1 to i mean so the front view and let's add press shift a and add a camera and click here to see the camera press n and go to the view and lock the camera so that now i can move the camera easily and i will set a frame let's go to the camera properties and i will change the focal length to 15 mm so now i am happy and i can also tilt this position if i want so let's suppose i want let's suppose i want from here and i will press shift and look it like this 
so this looks quite a good to me press n and un uncheck this so now i will i can move free and whenever i want to use the camera i just click here and let's make a two view so i will just simply click here and drag it here and now let's press t to hide this and uh, let's move to the cycles i mean the rendered view and this is by default set to the ev i will change it to the cycle and i will change from cpu to the gpu and you can see the lighting is off because there is no lighting so recently i made a tutorial about the new sky system called nisita you can use it by simply going to the world and color and choose it to the sky texture and damn good without any hdri you will get pretty good result but in this case i will use a hdri so i'll simply click new and i'll go to the color and i will go to the environment texture and i will load a hdri i'll put a link in my video description so you can go and check it so i'm going to use this one and pretty good let me create a new sun so i'll press shift a and i'll use uh, create a new light called sun and i'll press 1 z and i'll rotate it by pressing r and now you will create some I, i mean you will see some of the shadows i will make the intensity of sun is 750 and uh, by diffusing this light i will use the angle around 2 or maybe like 10 and now you can see you will getting some diffuse and by the way this is very noisy so let me fix this first this is by the way set to the gpu it's pretty good let's check check the adaptive sampling and one more step is here let's check the denoising in viewport set to the optics don't forget to check so change it from here also so i change both things in the same same time and right now you can see we don't see the clouds like our reference we we want to see outside this train so that it will look like our train is uh, you know stable on the clouds let me create a new slider from here and i will make it rendered mode here also i will come over here to see the clouds and now i'll change this view as a shader editor and i will change it to the world because our environment is in a world so i will select this hdri and i'll press control t by the way i have enabled my node regular and if you don't you will just go to the edit preferences and make sure this is enable and i will press control t and i will rotate the z to around 25 and i will position the camera little bit more let's make it right now i can see this all things so this is pretty good so now i will go to the render setting color management and here i will down the exposure little bit and i'll go to the world and i will increase the strength of my hdri so maybe i will use 8 and this is too much so i'll go to again here and i will down the you know this exposure so now my scene is balanced and i will go to the uh, i will go again to the shader editor so that i will hide this so let's suppose uh, i will make this let me enable here so that i can see what's going on so now it's looking good and i'll make it zero here i will rotate this z again to see the cloud so now i can see here all this cloud so this looks good but i can make it little bit more and you can see where the light is light is coming from this direction i think this direction from this direction so i will change the lighting of my sun so i will press 1 r and i will make it this way this z and make it here so it's pretty cool uh, pretty good and let me save it that i will complete the texturing part then i will uh, we will jump to the cloud part so let's switch back to this world to the object and let's select our object from one by one so let's suppose i select this wall and here is my settings and of the material so i will first i will change the clear coat to the two color is good white is good let's select this one I mean this metal rods, and I'll increase the metallic, and I'll down the roughness. 
so these are specular steel you know material and then i'll select these seats and maybe i will just make it little blue or something and increase the metallic little bit let's go to the output properties and let's check render region so that i will see only the render region area it will render only the render region area and this look this thing looks so far so good so let's open the volume so first make sure to stop this otherwise it will crash your pc and this is what happened with me so first i will try to down the viewport samples to something around 16 and it's it is more than enough i think and i will you know stop the render here and then i'll press shift a and i will import the volume i mean vdb and you will get uh, three copies i mean there is a higher one lower one and the medium one so i will use the lower one and this is pretty good pretty good and i rendered with this one because the higher one or the medium one i think it will take more time to render so i'll import it and by default you can see this volumes cloud this cloud vdb is pretty good and this is pretty huge so i will press s and I'll scale down it and this is still so big so I will down it and I'll press 1 let's open the press 3 and let's rotate it to the 90 degree minus 90 degree and press 1 Z Z to correct the position press 7 go to the wireform mode G and press Y and move it almost here and let's see so it's pretty good and let's see it here press ctrl s to save it and it's good you can see the volume but it's pretty dark so first and make it here so that it will be almost here so that we can see it correctly so now let me you know the texture it so when you use vdb volumes you will get a option here by pressing here you will see the vdb properties open the shader editor and what you can do you can just select the vdb material option you will, uh, you will create uh, click here or you can click here and it will create a new volume shader for your vdbs so here you can see and let me show you what i did to make it like cloud so first if you want you can just make it full white if you want or so you can just down this anastrophe all the way down and now you can see this is light and looking like the cloud and make it white you can see it's pretty good and if you want you can just make it a little bit you can see like this so this looks good i can just down it a little bit and now i will jump and i'll make it to the 3d viewport here i'll just switch back to the wireframe mode and i'll press 7 and now i will add more volumes so i will shift d first i'll press m and make it them in a new collection so this will be organized and i'll select shift d and make it press z and y and make it here the way how i placed all the clouds here and now uh, let me hide this one and let's switch back this view as a rendered view and you know you can place all these things and one more thing guys you can just select any vdb and you can just go this vdb volume properties and here you will get a step size this is by default set to the zero or here is an option of density is set to the one and you can just make uh, increase or decrease it like if you will make two it will increase the density of this volume you can just press the lower number and this is the step size which i set by default to the one let's set the density by default to the one and this is it which i did for this whole things and you can place more cloud if you want but i don't want because my system is not responding well so i'm going to hide few of the try to hide all this and i will use one for the seven and i will rotate it like this and i will scale it so that it will fill my scene and it will look good here you can see looking good 
and now I can just add a camera animation so I will select the camera and I will select I will press save in to top view and I will select this camera and I will press I will select the area so what I decided did I calculated 24 into 7 is equal to 168 frames so I set 168 here and slide it here and then I just press I to add a key on the location of camera and then I just go to the end of 168 press GY and I just drag it like this and press I to add a keyframe on this location and what I did more I just select both keyframes and press V and select to the vector camera animation is linear now I can select this VDB press ZX and make it like this so this looks pretty good and then I just simply change the dimension to 1080 by 1080 and the quality 100% and change the FPS to 24 FPS and then I leave it all these things by default and then I just simply change the output I mean where it will save and this then I simply just rendered image make it rendered mode and let's render one frame at least and check the result and one more thing uh, which I did I just changed the render mode to that 32 also so the one picture render is finished and it took me around 4 minute 44 second for one frame so you can imagine how i rendered 168 frame and the result is pretty good and when your animation is finished so what you will do to create that star so you will just simply select this camera and go to the file and go to the export and click to the adobe after effect and just select this uh, animation and active camera and hide all these things because i want to export the camera and the animation only and then export it to the your desired location and you can just simply install this add-on by going to the add-on and here this is after effect import and export and i'll put a link so you can go there and download it and this is pretty good so let's let me off this and let's jump into our so when your render is finished just simply import your file and let's make it to the 24 because our comp is 24 and let's drag it drop it here and it's good and now let's uh, double I mean just go to the file script and run script and run this script which you exported as a camera and hit ok and this will make a new composition with camera and now you can just import that camera here and you can make anything and it will react like this that is available in that scene so let me open the project which I completed and here you can see I added the camera here added the form layer here trap code form made with trap code form and one layer for moving and one for static and after color collection and everything this is it so thanks for watching my video and i hope you like it and i hope you learn it and download you can download this project file from my patreon page as well as so thanks for watching this full tutorial and thanks for loving me thanks for supporting me i am nps ready and we will see you next time with another excited blender tutorial keep loving me keep supporting me this is it guys